The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Shit. Damn. Let's find it. Yeah. Bra, bra, bra. Bra means come. Bra? Yeah. Bra, bra. Hey there, a cracking can. Hey there, who you from Burkina? Who camera? Who teach you? No, I say, I didn't know over there. Millet, what you say? Three, one, one, just one. Yes. Back up. All right, guys, welcome back to Second and Another. I'm stuck with you guys, and we're always smiling. So, just saw some people selling some stuff on the street. First thing Crazy said, he hopes I don't get like a running stomach. So, yeah, this is uh, what is this? Uh, Burkina. It's made with millets, water, of course, yogurt, and some other stuff. So, it seems kind of similar to, um, how can I say, the, the oatmeal thing that I like making back home. Or in Jamaica, we call it a mm hmm. I must see if it tastes um, pretty similar. This one is not for me. <laughs> um, it's it's sour. It's not very milky tasting, and you get all those little millet things. Um, so it's definitely not for me. Probably if it was blended up a little bit or something, but yeah, that one's not for me. But I tried Burkina. Yeah, vibes. Try a little. So. We just stopped just now and we got some tiger nuts. Nut. And um, yeah, Chrissy was mentioning that when it's black, it's better. You have two kinds. There's a black type and this black. This is very milky. This is good. It tastes like a coconut. It's like a, it's, it's like a cross between an almond and a coconut. Like the texture you feel like, you know when you used to chew the coconut back home in Jamaica? The same type of feel. It's almost a little bit spongy, a little bit nutty at the same time. But I quite like this and it's very milky. I can see why you said they make it in the shakes, right? Oh. Yeah, it's sweet, too. Ooh. It's very nice. I quite like this. So we stopped off by KFC really quick. Uh, I think it's gonna be interesting to see how Ghani and KFC compares to the ones back home in Jamaica. Already, I don't think it's gonna compare because they don't have that KFC smell. You know, like when you in Jamaica, like two, three, four, five, six blocks away, you can actually smell the KFC. When I went to the door of it, it was like, okay, this is a very faint smell. Um, a lot of stuff in there is pretty different. For example, if you're buying breasts, they're asking if you want center breasts or whatever breasts. In Jamaica, let's get breasts. So it's a little bit different, but I got a zinger, which is not normally my typical order. G Jilly got um, the regular meats and stuff. So um, we're gonna try it out and I'll tell you as best as I can what the flavors are. Of course, it's different. There's no barbecue here. And you know, in Jamaica, that's probably one of their top sellers, which anyway, 
KFC in Jamaica usually don't even have the barbecue ready, so no big difference. So the whole packaging is uh it's a lot different already. Yeah. Ghanaians drive like Jamaica. It's, it's, it's really aggressive kind of driving, but we're accustomed to that. But the packaging is different. It looks a lot more like an Americanized packaging. Even the feel of the paper, the brown paper bag, it's a lot lighter. I don't know if it's like recyclable stuff. But yeah, um, what I like so far that this burger, it looks very gourmet. It don't feel like the burger back home where it's just like, um, slap it into this foil thing and then give it to you. So let's try this. It looks really gourmet. I think when the food is presented very well like this one is, it's presented almost like that burger. What's it called it back in the US that everybody kill over? Burger yeah. King? Not burger. <laughs> what? Chick-fil-A. The presentation is very much like a like a Chick-fil-A. You know, the, uh, nice tender bread and everything. So this is good. I ain't gonna lie, it's good. However, I don't know, probably the Jamaican one have a probably is a more of a familiar taste, but this one is good. I won't say it's much different from the one back home, but presentation they'll definitely win. Love this. I told him I need a tie and it's so look at what she did. She cook, you know. Yes, it's just like Jamaican KFC. <laughs> they give what they want. <laughs> um the fries pretty much the same. I think overall very 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 similar but i think jamaican kfc is gonna win because there's barbecue and that's like one of the top sellers there julie how's the mm -hmm. chicken for you oh, yeah and if i'm hungry i'm hungry no you're hungry it's, it's good. kfc they have so, a standard all over the world here. it's somewhere we have about this what time is it the time is now it is now five after four this is our first meal for the day so Hunger is impacting taste buds as well. Yeah. Look at that, guys. It's good. It is good. So we are currently at the, the Buri Mountains, just, you know, taking in some history. So these trees are like almost a hundred years old, if not crazy. This is the Buri Botanic Garden. And this park is 133 years old. It was 1890, and the garden was officially opened. But most of the trees were here before. So most of the trees are older than 133. So in terms of the size of the park, the size is 160. The size of the park is 160. You want to do all the work? Remember, we saw this truck coming here and say, 
Yeah, oh, like bringing that. stuff. Yeah, that's the truck. Oh, yeah, coming from my truck. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's all. Okay, it went for some juice. So, what kind of snakes do you guys normally have here? Wow. <laughs> These are from Lebanon. Yeah. Cedar from Lebanon. Yeah. One of the hardest woods in the world. Cedar tree. I bet tree. You haven't seen the bed. Ah, so that, that's the no, palm no, no. soup. Yes, yeah, this one. Yeah, that one. The long yeah. one. They use the, the front for broom. And when it's going to be falling, they make wine from it. Oh, palm wine. Yeah, it's palm wine. No, you yeah. see that? Look, the soup. This is how the cedar should be. You see how it looks? When you look, at, when you look here, the cedar mm -hmm. is inside. What you are seeing around is a palace. Another palm mm -hmm. trying to kill the cedar in there and take over. Mm -hmm. So there's a cedar tree inside, inside here? And you have a parasite yeah. taking over. So, so would you, this is a parasite? Yes, it's called stronghold fiber. It's stronghold trees. Trying to kill the trees and take off. It's killed it already. Yeah, so it's in the process. Once we go down there, there was a tree. It just killed the whole tree and took over. But this is still in the process. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. It's starting with the other seed. So that one is a share? Share, the big one. The big one? Yeah. Ah. The, some, something is added to it. If it has scent or no, without? If it has scent, mm -hmm. that means it's natural. If it has no scent, that means some other chemicals have been added to dilute it. Um. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. And we we'll use it for oil. Oh, oh, Wow, like it literally killed that tree, yo. There's no tree in there. So, what's the what's the purpose of it killing the tree? Like, did it get nutrients first to survive, and then yeah. that's so the with, reason. With this vine, when it starts, on, it starts like a vine can't survive. Look, look, at, look at this mm -hmm. one there. You see, it start going in the tree there at the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see that? So now it's gonna start putting itself into the tree. And like that means a host. Yes. I mean we have stuff like that in Jamaica but um it doesn't kill the tree like that. No, not that strong. In this particular type, that is how it does. It can once it establishes itself, yeah. it will just kill the main tree inside. Wow. So right now it's empty. Once I get in, I can just wave you up there anywhere in the host. We do climb all the way. Yeah. So I'll wave you up out there and get some. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. This reminds me of um, a tree that we had when I was a kid. We used to climb it up and everything. Oh. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if I can go up this tree. Yeah, where you are. Okay. Use both legs. Use both legs, yeah. Then go up. Then go down to this. Did this one? Yeah. Whew. Bring your legs foot here. So hold it, hold it firm. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Then go across this. Grab that. And then this. Oh. Guys. <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. We're pretty high up and yeah, we are right now in this um what's this what what is this um, parasite called again? 
We're in a strangler FICO. It's killed the cedar tree. You guys know how hard cedar wood is. It's dead. And we're just right here in the cavity of the tree. It's <laughs> Yo, I'm so excited. No, no lies. So excited. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, guys, so pretty high up. Julie's about to come up now, and yeah. All right, let's get down. Put it in the hole. Yeah. There's a hole up there. This one? Yeah. Take your time. Your left leg. Should go to the whole hole up there. This? No, look, look at me. Yeah, where your hand is. Can your leg go there? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm move there. So put, try to put your feet in there. Yeah. I mean, can I go up for it up? Okay, so let's yeah do the pictures here. Then yeah. we I will let you come through this side. Look, look at me. No, I think you should have. <laughs> but you should have. Turn around. It says yeah. It looks pretty easy, but it's kind of, yeah. Oh, there goes some ants in here. Wow. Okay, you try to see if you can go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, push it. Yeah. We are going to heaven. No, it's a big light. Hi, eh? We're going to heaven. Really high. You look like you're in a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> raise your, wave, yeah. wave them to your hands. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I get no, no. That's the quick. That's the quick. <laughs> we'll help you come on. Yeah, we will. I'm coming. Um, even though we got here a bit late, um, pretty appreciative of the the colors that i'm getting you can see that the sunset coming somewhere there between the trees that's pretty cool and i think the highlight for me was actually climbing this tree here and it's very interesting that it is um it's actually a parasite that took over you know it's kind of crazy but kill the main tree kill the main tree the cedar. and it's cedar wood which is you know really strong so that's something else. Um, how do I feel? What the atmosphere is like? It's pretty quiet. Um, like I said, it's a bit late. Uh, not a lot of people here at this moment. Plus it's not a weekend. That could be the reason why, but yeah, pretty calm, pretty serene. I don't think we'd be able to do everything today that, you know, but um, yeah, it's been really nice. Really nice to see that we are part of over 130 years of just nature doing its thing. Yeah. Malaria tree. Frank was advocating for yeah. this some water, me wash it and it's dirty. I have, I have water in my bag. Yeah, let me wash it. And, and what, do you, what are you supposed to do with it? Definitely you, bite. You bite it. Really it. Taste, taste. It's bitter? Yeah, it is. Chloroquine is very bitter. Mm. Yeah. So, well, I want to kill COVID and uh, uh, malaria. Oh, one that's high. Soft, soft, smooth yeah, one. Work. Get a fresh one. Can I go and burn it at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me some more, please. Oh, okay. Oh. You should be able to remember. Oh. Ever to <laughs> 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 
Murder. Murder. <laughs> it's okay. I know what serious it tastes like. <laughs> no, no thanks. Uh, gonna boil it. Oh my god. You know why? This when he takes it in, mm -hmm. it would kill malaria, fever, mm -hmm. typhoid, and the good thing is that it builds your immune system. system. That was why when COVID came, the doctors were using it. It was effective. And that's what Trump was advocating. Um, uh, what's it called? Chloroquine tree. Oh, it makes quinine. Yeah, quinine. Quinine, quinine, quinine or quinine. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah
just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I won't lie, when I heard about coming here, I was kind of like, uh, okay. It's not where the food's at. But you know, since coming here, like the information has been like super vital, <laughs> super vital. Every day I learn about, you know, some food, even nutmeg. It's a very popular ingredient back home in Jamaica, really popular. We use it in our porridges, we use it in our punches. Like I mentioned earlier about the mm-hmm drink. Yeah, that's definitely in there. So this is your first time though. My first time. Very first time. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel first your first time being oh, I've here? I've seen so many documentaries and videos, so. So you feel like you're already here? Yeah, I've, I've, it's like I'm already here. <laughs> yeah. Mentioned that, just to say, a lot of persons like myself, we live in beautiful Jamaica and um, some of these places we make other people go there before us. And then we go, oh my gosh, you know. You know so my recommendation if you're in Jamaica, US, wherever you are, check out a couple attractions where you are first. If they're not able to make these big or long trips. So right now we are heading to a house that you mentioned that Queen the Queen, the Queen of Elizabeth England stayed there before. Not only the Queen, but then most of these colonial masters, the British colony. Okay. That were in here in Ghana. So nice. Yeah, taking care of like managing Ghana. Forgive yeah. forgive my rudeness, your name. So anybody comes here, they can ask for you as a guide. You said? Your name? Martin. 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 Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I work here as a, a tour guide. Nice. Guide. Cool. Oh, baby, see the papaya tree? Yeah. Oh, Spot yeah. the papaya tree, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're saying Martin. Yeah. We're coming to the, the tree, the house. The, before the house, I want to show you the tree in Ghana called Nyamidia. What does that mean? Yeah, mean, yeah, mean goat tree. Goat? Goat. Okay. Oh, God. God. Yeah, you know, God. Ah. Yeah, so, here. Yes. Yes, tree. Look, look at this big tree. Yeah, this tree is still growing, not even mature yet. And that's what it's called, yeah. meaning goat tree. Yeah, if it's old. Wow. So, is there any economic extent now? Oh yeah, yeah, in the jungles. If, if you visit some of the forests, Kakum, Kakum is a tourist attraction. Yeah, I went to Kakum. They, they yeah. put some, the roots, they tie on the yeah. tall trees. Those are all in India. Okay. So because the tree can grow that tall, uh, back in the days, there was a strong belief that once you pray or say worship to those trees, it could facilitate the message you have prayed. Oh, no, no. Pray. Yeah. What a prayer, yeah. Straight. <laughs> So behind me you guys can see the house where the queen stayed but like I mentioned I think it was like a video before like I find some of the buildings here that have great history just like back home they allow it to kind of get a little bit run down it doesn't really seem like a place where I would say the queen stayed so yeah but I guess as I said we have very similar cultures but it's good to know that um, all this happened here now my question is like what happened to this place now like after that, like, do they just use, leave it there? Uh, you're keeping it. They were using it as a monument, but now they have decided to renovate it. They oh, they're going to renovate it. it. Yeah, so, so why would they sell it to me to renovate it? They will sell anything in the park. Yeah, so the, the, the mom is on the, the oldest in the, on the floor. So this tree is the baby? Yeah, the oldest, oh, was, the oldest was over 600 years. Ooh, the mom this, died. This is the baby. That's just 97 years old. So. How did they know they keep all they planted? Everything has been documented. Oh.
So that tree there, that's the, the mom. Yeah, well, the oldest in the pack died 600. He was 600 years and died two years ago. That was 2020. What killed it? He died natural death. It was a cotton tree. Oh, a cotton tree. Yeah. About to climb the biggest tree in the world. <laughs> I'm at the top of the tree. Well, the fell top here. And beans, you wanna come up? Huh? Come on up! <laughs> uh. Uh, whoa. It comes all the way up to the top here. It's really cool to feel and know that you're, I mean, it might sound lame, but this tree has been around at least several times my age, man. <laughs> Good time. All right. Damn. Go all the way to the edge, baby. <laughs> yeah, right there. It's good. No further. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <sighs> it's it's surreal. It's really surreal. I think the part that gets me is just the age of the tree. Yeah. Never been around the tree this old. Wow. They carved it, yo. So cool. This skull is full of life. Tell us the story about life. Mm. Yeah, it's a pine tree, yeah. yeah sir. Actually, it was a pine tree, mm -hmm. but died. Mm -hmm. Once it died, somebody called Kofi is an artist. It was Kofi that designed it, that carved the tree like this, and now named this tree of life, meaning this tells the concept of life. Or the Kofi tree. <laughs> So look, I'm going to do a summary of the story mm -hmm. about some. Mm. Can you see there's a king right at the top? There's a king. Oh, whoa, yeah. So in life, there's always a leader and his subjects, which are his people. And you always start from the scratch. So everybody from the base is trying his best to climb to the top. And that is what they are doing. When you come close, you can see them trying. A young man here is doing his best by struggling to climb and he's got his family behind him helping, helping him, pushing him up. So yeah, you can see him, he's here and he's struggling with the hands and these are his people, his parents pushing him. Father, this one. But then on this side, this young man is trying his best to see if he can succeed to the top, but then those around are pulling him down. Survive. Yes, so you can see holding him, trying to drag him down. In yes. Jamaica, we call that crab in a barrel. Crabs in the barrel. <laughs> you have the same thing? Yeah, yeah, we also have the same thing. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> you don't know. Yo, think of a fish brother, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamaica. Jamaica. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah. Yeah. Every Ghanaian loves Jamaica. Yeah. Every Ghanaian loves Jamaica. This is your ancestry. Yeah. yeah. If you don't understand, this is your ancestry. Yeah. Straight. If you go to Cape Coast, you'll get to understand a lot more that this is where you belong. But I hear this story and I feel sad. Ah. In Cape Coast. So Jilly said she heard the story and she feels sad. Yeah. I'm actually feeling happy about the story. Reason being. Yeah. The first part, the first thing I saw was crab in a barrel. I was just seeing people tearing down people. But when, you know, he mentioned that, hey, some people are actually helping people yeah, up. Yeah. Like that for me, it gave me like some hope, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, gave, it gave me some hope, bro. So actually, this is a summary. If, if I would do the story, you would mm. see that it's not only talking about one thing. It's telling the whole concept about life. In, in life, once we are growing up from the scratch, some people on their own choose a wrong path mm. 
yeah, everybody you see here is going way or is taking the wrong direction. Not to the king. Not to the king. Mm -hmm. And the mean it means that whoever takes the wrong path in life, not all of them, but most of them end up in regret, and that is what you see. The old man here is so he's in pain, he's in frustration, and he's regretting because he realized the life that he lived is the reason, is the result that he's getting. So he's regretting for his action. Then let's come. You can see this is a crocodile. Mm -hmm. The crocodile is eating this young boy here. And the artist did this to advise that once you are growing up, as, especially as children, and you are not doing the right thing, you are not following the right direction, you can die as a result. And that's the, what, the reason we have the crocodile eating the boy here. When you look up, you can see people screaming, people crying up there. Mm -hmm. So everybody that takes the wrong way in life don't end well. You always meet a lot of pain and frustrations and whatever. So we are coming back to this branch. So basically every branch has a concept of life. So let's come back here. Let's come here. Yes, so we're going. Look at the big man up there at the top. Yeah. He is the biggest, and I would say the most <laughs> successful than all this, uh, the people. Yeah. And that is a politician. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the artist, his perception about the politics is that once you put people into power, they will use the office, they will loot the money, and use the office to enjoy themselves. They make a lot of money, they grow very big. And you, the people who put them there, they step on your head. Mm -hmm. So once you look at his feet, you can see him stepping, stepping on, on other people's, people's head. head. And he's doing very well, looking so relaxed on his chest. He's the black man. <laughs> <laughs> then on this side, quickly, these are all entrepreneurs. Every, anybody you see on this branch is an entrepreneur. Has to, he's a business person. Mm -hmm. And the artist himself is an entrepreneur. He's mm -hmm. called Kofi. Coffee. So Kofi decided to create this brand to honor all entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. so he himself is one. Then, let's come and see the security, the forces. He created a branch here to celebrate all the securities. Yeah, I can see the, the uniforms. Yeah, yeah, uniform people. And his reason is that the security always protects lives and property. And because of the important nature of their work, he decided to also honor them by creating their forces up there and i'm sure you can see a lot of animals yep so elephants elephant you have camel here you come here we have the flamingo which in ghana is called sankofa sankofa and sankofa means back to your root you should always know where you are coming from mm. so when you look at the bed you can see the neck the neck has turned back and that speak something. This is an egg. Mm. The egg here represents your heritage, where your origin is. So whoever feel you are lost, it's never late for you to go back. You can always go back to your origin. Find your roots. Easy. That's You're back to Ghana. Find your roots. <laughs> and this is where you belong. Where you belong. So the animals that you see are about 60 animals all over the tree. And the reason is that humans and animals were created to live in harmony love nature that was his reason for including the animals mm. then let's look at where the story ends you can come this way the story ends here the story ends with a woman because it takes a woman to produce life children so mm -hmm. look at what he did he shaped a female genital here mm -hmm. and even <laughs> When he created a female genital, he did well. He created a baby inside the genital. Mm. So the genital was just like giving birth to a baby. Mm. But unfortunately, we took students on tour and one of them came and removed the baby, the baby out of the genital. Oh no. Yeah, but there was a baby with a head out there and the leg inside Aww. to show how women produce children. But even though it takes a woman to produce <laughs> yeah, we know it takes women to produce children. It, it takes a man to help a woman produce a child. So you can see the male also represented. 
In true black yeah, African Jamaica. fashion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that one, you know? You don't see it, man. That's right, that's a bro. See, right, that's a bro. <laughs> and he used nine months to create a tree. Not nice. because it was so difficult, but he decided to want to use Naima to show how it takes a woman nine months to, to create something create so baby, beautiful. Yeah. That's yeah. a big head, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, helicopter. Is there a history about this helicopter? Yeah, that's the first chopper, the first helicopter in Ghana. And that was used by the Ghana Air Force. Mm. So it got broken in the sixties and they fixed it in the park for children and people to, to have fun. So it was right here. Uh, we'll we'll shoot a lot of here. music videos. Can we can we touch it? Yeah, yeah you oh. can even climb there. People sit up there, take mm. videos and pictures. But this is the spice garden. Spice. Yeah, most of the plant here are spice. Mm. Spice like you know cinnamon. We have uh, all spice. We have uh, curry. Whoa. Yeah, this is what smell this. This is a spice in Ghana called. Mm. Oh, it's oh, nice. Yeah, so good. So, when we when you take when sobolo you, you in make Ghana, you, 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 sobolo, oh, you're making um porridge. porridge we'll you put it in, in it and it's so spicy. Yeah. It smells so nice. And like, it's now. When, and, and, uh, when you make mix the gin, uh, it smells almost like peppermint in a little way too. Mm. Got the cinnamon, the allspice, curry. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I've ever touched a helicopter before. So, yeah. In the climb where they fly, it can take a. Oh wow! From inside, you can climb up there. So cool. Come in. <laughs> oh wow. This thing is about sixty years old. And then climbing from here. Welcome to Air Soy. Today we are going to be taking you on a hike. You've never been before, all the way up to the ground. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So these are like some pole steps. Some of them are broken. But... And that was... You did not have to be careful. Yeah. Pilot, push pilot. <laughs> uh, okay. One stop driver. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. And Jilly is now inside. I'm the co-pilot. Jilly's the pilot today. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on today's video. We got the chance to check out the Aburi Mountains here in Ghana. It's been amazing. Got a bit of history. Got to try some street food along the way and also got the chance to try some KFC. When I got the KFC was pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. If you love videos like these, drop a like on the video. Drop a comment. Let me know if you're rocking for Jamaica or you're just a Ghanaian coming back to check out some of your history. Remember three things, love, nature, and adaptation. And I always remember.